Well, the new set of meat chicks are about five weeks old, going on five weeks, and um, we ordered 15 this time. This time we ordered them from um, McMurray Hatchery, and you see that one oddball over there, that little little girl with the hairy legs in the back? Um, well, my finger was in the way, wasn't it? Anyway, McMurray has this um, thing where if you order so many chicks they give you a mystery chick and I don't know how I feel about that because I got a feeling that mystery chick is not a meat chicken and I don't know what I'm gonna do with her um, adding her into the mix of my current layers could be problematic because she don't get picked on so I just I don't know it kinda caused more trouble than it than it caused uh, solutions I don't know what she is I would like to know because she's kind of odd looking. I can't get it to focus on her. It's not to focus on the. There she is. If anybody knows what kind of chicken that is, like I said, she's about five weeks old. Hairy legs. Let me know in the comments. So, anyway, we're going to finish. Uh, this year up with this, these 15 chickens or 14 we lost one and um, then we're going to stop for the summer because these uh, cross X cross meat cross whatever they're called chickens don't handle the heat all that well so we'll stop for the summer and this fall or winter we'll get back into it with and that's fine because our our uh, uh, freezers are full or will be full once we get these guys in there and it's good meat let me tell you I'm not I am NOT unhappy with this uh, meat chicken thing we're doing I'm very I'm very happy with what we're, we got going on but you know what that is not what this video is about what this video is about is binoculars now this is a new set of binoculars I just got. They're uh, Redfield Revolts, uh, 10 by 42. And if you're a follower of JJ over at Reality Survival, he just did a review of these binoculars. And the reason he did a review, same reason I'm doing a review, is they're on sale right now at Optics Planet. And I've been watching. As a matter of fact, I already had them in my uh, in my checkout box when I saw JJ's review. And I got these things, me personally, with a, a coupon code, and they may have thrown in there that I buy from them fairly often. I got these things, free shipping, $55.24. And I have been wanting to get another pair of binos for a while. Um, and I've, I've, I've looked at the reviews, and I've decided these were, were going to be good enough for what I needed. They're Redfields, which uh, inter interesting enough, even though they're made in China, Redfield until April was owned by Leupold. And Leupold has just sold their Redfield brand to Academy Sports and Outdoors. So as of now, Redfield is owned by Academy, but according to the paperwork in this box, these were made under the Leupold umbrella auspices whatever you want to call it and they're made in China and 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 um, I understand that even though they're owned by Leupold or were owned by Leupold you know they're they're a lower version than Leupold but I tell you what I think they're gonna be good enough for what I what I wanted and I'm not so much doing a review of the quality of of these binoculars they're good I've already checked them out and I'm, I'm happy with them but I just wanted to talk very briefly about my binocular strategy now I have a few pair not a lot I'm not a binocular nut like I am in, about packs or anything like that but um, my standard is these old Marine Corps 8x32 uh, binoculars now these these things are old these binoculars were used to call fire to call fire on Druce militia uh, mortar emplacements up in the heights in Beirut, Beirut, Lebanon back in 82. Um, 
So that would mean that these things are at least from the 80s, early, let's say 1980 at the very least. I, I want to say they were new then, new issued. So they've been around. And, um, you know, that, that makes them 40 years old plus. And I think they're great binoculars. Now they're 8 by 32s which, especially if you're going to be on the water or, or holding them, you know, holding the binoculars by hand, I feel like 8 power is about the most you want to do. Frankly, if these had been 8 power, that wouldn't have stopped me from buying them. When you get into 10 power, you really need to be able to brace yourself or maybe, you know, use a, a, um, a hard place to look because you're just going to be a little shaky jake and 10 power shaky jake you know it gets a little little much so i got some eight power and i got some 10 power and then these little doodads these are what these are eight power by 25. these go in my car these are very small they go in my car and in uh in the worst case scenario they would go into my uh get home kit matter of fact i have a little a little uh place for them on my chest strap on my chest rig if um, I get into a get home situation. And these were my all around binoculars and they're wonderful binoculars. They have, they have a lot of field of view. They, they really bring in the light. Um, they're wonderful binoculars, but I wanted a pair to have in the house and a pair to have out here in the, in the kitchen and the outdoor kitchen. So that if I'm outside working and a boat goes by or somebody's doing something over there, there's just something I want to see maybe there's an osprey up in a tree or something like that. I want a pair here in the kitchen, uh, maybe in an ammo can. I'll probably I'll probably put an ammo can out here somewhere just for them to sit in uh, that I can grab and, and look through. But then I want a pair in the house so that if I'm at the kitchen window and my neighbor's up to no good, and and I'm just I'm joking. My neighbors are great, but if somebody is go, doing something. And I just want to look out the window or go to the door. I want a pair there. So that's why I was looking for a second pair. And uh, I think these are going to be good for that. I really do. They seem very stout. And I tell you what, for 55 bucks, I think they, they, they go for 64 But once, like I said, once I used my code and I got the free shipping, um, I paid 55 total. You can't beat that. You can't beat that at all. Now... The real point of this video is not to show you what binoculars I have, but to get you thinking about binoculars and how they work in your life. I really think you need a pair for the car. Small pair, they don't have to be really expensive, um, just something that, that you can use if you are in the car and you need to, to see something from a distance. Also, if they're small, you can throw this in your get home bag and use them as you're making your way home and I really would would go with something like this rather than these big guys here but these really could come in handy worst case scenario if you are on foot in a get home situation and you come up onto a danger area such as a road crossing or even a river crossing and you're trying to find the best way to get across maybe you are uh, looking down the road and you see some activity and you don't know if you want to go down there. Maybe something's going on you don't want to get involved in. This enables you to stand off and to be able to um, check out the situation. But then you want a bigger pair for, you know, at, around the house or it, say you're patrolling your, your, your area, your neighborhood, and you want to be able to reach out and see what's going on down that street or across the bayou as in my case, and just find out what somebody's up to. So binoculars come into play. At the very least, I would have a pair in your car, a small pair, and then at home, get the biggest, strongest pair you can, within reason, for looking around your neighborhood from the house. Like I said, eight power is probably good enough for everybody. Um, 10 powers are getting a little more specialized. But if you're looking for a pair of binos, Right now, Optics Plant, and I don't get anything from them. I don't have any kind of relationship. But they're selling these things for, at least for me, they were 55 bucks delivered. And you can't beat that, folks. You really can't.